WCNC Charlotte's Julie Kay joins us live from NOTA with a new way to get around there. Julie. Yeah, even in places like Noda here where they have easy access to the blue line, there's still traffic and parking concerns. I spoke with the founder of a new company who's hoping to make that a little bit easier on the city and on your wallet ahead of the big vote. In one afternoon, Justin Neville sees every corner of Noda. Since 2010. Over and over and over again. The only thing that changes Who's in the back seat? There's a lot of new density here as well, which is very helpful. Neville started Jump Transit, an eco and wallet friendly alternative for his home of Noda. I know a lot of neighbors like dread going to a restaurant in their own neighborhood just because either you're paying, you know, 20 or $30 for an Uber for the night um, or you're trying to park and, and it's a huge hassle. All you have to do is get to one of these stops and scan this QR code to find arrival times and routes. And with prices at only $3 for one way, it rivals that of the light. Rail. Of course, the public transit may be able to really expand the footprint of these light rail stations to, you know, serve even more people. The decision to expand the light rail to northern communities Tuesday could push forward or come to a halt. We need to be doing something now. Uh, that also means that we need to have a revenue source. City Council expected to vote on the acquisition, a decision that's been going round and round for a while. Regardless of the result, the need for options is clear. Whether it's public transit, whether it's micro transit, community transit, um, like we're offering, and anything in between, uh, I think it just helps. Even just a few days and a few passengers in. One of the things I love about these vehicles. Neville knows yeah. this. You're still very connected with the, <laughs> this is my daughter and her friends. Like <laughs> could become a more common alternative to solve a need that puts him in the driver's seat. And this was only their fourth day being open, and he's already talking about expanding to places like Belmont, Camp North End, even Uptown. For now, they're open here in Noda Thursday through Sunday evenings. Live in Noda, Julie Kay, WCNC Charlotte. Very 